Hello everybody! Welcome to vlog number nine! And us on this beautiful sunny day and we are on our way to Bath. As in the city, yeah? <laughs> We're not having a bath. Oh, I have baths, she doesn't. <laughs> But we are very aware that a lot of you are going the days out, um, having lovely day trips out with friends and family, and it can always be a tough situation as to how to manage your health and fitness. So we are taking you along with us to Bath so you can understand exactly what to do if you are on a health and wellness journey and how to manage it all. Right? Stay tuned. We're going on a road trip. Yes. To Bath. But before we go, we're here in the supermarket picking up our snacks for the day. So it's really, really, really important to get yourself prepped. So we are taking lots of snacks on our road trip with us. This isn't chocolate bars and cake bars and things like that. As you can see, we're in the fruit aisle here. So we're gonna pick up some lovely snacks which we'll share with you in just a bit. So we're out at the gym and we are on our way home to get ready for our day trip. And we thought we'd start off Galore. I didn't make the bloody country. We thought we would start you off by really talking you through what your mindset should be like on a day like this. So when you know you've got something coming up, you've planned for a day out, it's really, really important that in the lead up to the day out, you kind of start setting your mental intentions for the day. So just like knowing that if you're going to go to, if you're going to go on a night out, and you definitely know you do not want that nasty hangover the next morning, you set your intention. You say to yourself, I'm going to have two drinks and no more, or maybe no drinks because you're driving. So you set your intention and that then sets the tone for your, for your evening. So in the same way, setting your intentions for your day out, knowing how you're going to manage it from snacks to exercise to overall mental attitude to the day. So if you can say to yourself, I'm not going to eat junk today, this is what I'm going to eat for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, for snacks. Then you've already set your agenda up for the day. You've set up what you're about to do for the day and you've committed to it. Another really good way to handle this is tell somebody. So Shaf will tell me what he's eating. I'll tell him what I'm eating. We'll talk to each other about what we have decided or intended to do for that day so that we can hold one another accountable. If we then see one another eating an ice cream or something else that we shouldn't be necessarily consuming, then we can call each other out on it. And not in a bad way, but it's all about support and accountability. And it really does help when you're trying to commit to your intentions for that day. So we just finished up in the gym. We had a really, really good session today. We were in and out in 45 minutes. So we knew we wanted to leave today at half 10. So we set the tone from the day before and said, cool, let's get into the gym 9 a.m. Uh, and um, smash out a workout. It's always good to do a workout on the morning of the day that you're about to go out. Let's be real, you're not going to be doing it when you come back. Most people are very tired and also you can't foresee what's going to be happening with the rest of your day. You might encounter some traffic, you might get held up. So it's important that you try and get this done in the morning. The other thing is, is that it really does set you up for your day. So by exercising in the morning, you get it out of the way, but also nobody then wants to eat junk after they have smashed such a intense workout so it's a really good idea to set this tone for the day in a positive way also why lose your normal routine it's great that you're having a day out with the family but at the same time that doesn't have to mean that you stop doing everything else you normally do so you're not going to not brush your teeth just because you're going to brighten for the day so just in the same way get in your workout just like a normal day Remember your workout doesn't need to be an hour or two. You can do a really quick and effective workout both at home or at the gym. It's completely up to you and how much time you have as well as the distance you have to travel to the gym. But definitely get it done. Don't waste time and equally don't make excuses. You can get in a really good half an hour, even 25 minute workout. As long as you say to yourself in the morning, get it done. And what's more, prepare yourself the day before so get your gym gear out the night before if it's a home workout get out your weights or any other kind of equipment that you're going to be using and make sure that you're ready to go so that in the morning you don't make excuses so the first thing you want to make sure you do is set a time for when you are leaving the house how long it's going to take you and so on and so forth having a clear agenda is really going to help you plan for your day 
As you've probably gathered from a lot of vlogs that Chef and I have done, we endorse prep. Prep, 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 prep is so, so important. Bushing bar and we're eating. So you, it's not going to be guaranteed that you're going to find healthy options wherever you go. So a good option is to take some food with you. It's a great way to ensure that you're eating the right things. It's a good time filler for a long journey. So what have you got today, Chef? So I have got burgers that I made in the oven this morning. Took 20 minutes, chop them up, chuck some salad in there, add some sauces and you're good to go. And me, I've got these. I've got some lovely, delicious Linda McCartney sausages with salad. I knew <clears throat> that chopping up the sausage would be really difficult, so I chopped them into small, small pieces into the salad, so that way it's easy, quick, and convenient. Things as always is take your water bottle with you. You can take your water bottle and then you can pop into a nearby coffee shop and you can fill it up. So remember to pack your snacks from the start of the day. So just think about try and plan out your day, know what you're gonna do, and then pack your snacks accordingly. So if you know you're gonna be walking for a long distance of time and you're not gonna be stopping somewhere for a proper lunch, pack your snacks. Examples of snacks that you can take are things like carrot sticks, fruit, protein bars, nut bars, nuts. There are so many different sorts of snacks that you can take. Everybody's good at taking snacks, but they're not good at taking the right snacks. It usually is fried crisps or fried kind of Indian snacks if you're Indian or um, salted, um, salted cashews, things like that. And when it comes to drinks, ultimately what you pack is what you will consume. If you pack loads of Cokes and lemonades and Fantas, that's what you're going to consume. If you only pack these, that's what you'll consume. And that doesn't mean that you can't have a little bit of ice cream or a little bit of Coke when you are out, but you will be a lot less likely to go for the junk options and high sugar foods and drinks, and much more likely to go for more nutritious options as well as you want to. If you found this useful, please do share, subscribe, hit the like button, share it with all your friends and family. Everyone has got massive plans lined up for the summer and this could really, really help. Days out happen all year long, not just in the summertime. So we really hope that this video and this vlog has helped you and your family and friends lead a healthier life, no matter where you are, whether it's at home, at work, or on a lovely day out with your family and friends. If you have any other tips or questions, please comment below and we'd love to hear from you. Boom!